Hi everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is dealing with a very beautiful and endangered animal. So let's look at the title. It says, Study Warns of Cheetah Extinction Threat. So we know the animal cheetah, as you can see in the picture, it's one of the world's fastest land mammals. And we see that they are close or they're in threat or in danger of facing extinction. So extinction means that we can no longer see them on Earth. So they're all dead and they've disappeared completely. So that is extinction. So they're in danger of becoming extinct. So that's what the recent study or the research that they have done, it shows that. So let's take a look at today's article. It says, a recent study, a recent means not too long ago. So a recent study has warned that the cheetah, the fastest animal in the world, is in danger of extinction and its number could fall an additional 53% over the next 15 years. So it says that they're saying if we don't do something fast, they're warning us, that the cheetah, which is the fastest animal in the world, it's in danger of completely disappearing from Earth, right? And their number, so the number of how many cheetahs there are, can fall an additional 53%. Additional means more, right, than right now. 53% uh, over the next 15 years. So if you look at the next 15 years, we will lose up to about 53% more, 53 more of cheetahs than we have right now. Uh, that's a huge number of cheetahs and right now there's not that many cheetahs because they've been uh, They've been disappearing a lot for many different reasons So it says here Luke Hunter who is the president of the global wildcat protection agency Pantera said just 7,100 cheetahs remain in the wild down from an estimated 14,000 in 1975 so in a span of 30 plus years, 40 plus years, it says that uh, more than half, right? Because 14,000 to now, just 7,100, that's how many cheetahs remain in the wild. So not in the zoos, not in people's homes. So in the wild means out in nature. So there's uh, 7,000 less, right? About 7,000 less cheetahs than there are from there were from 1975. The study's authors, authors are the people who have written it, so the authors also urged the change of the animal status from vulnerable to endangered. So the people who have written this study, they urge, they're saying, please, we must, right? So they're uh, letting people know and they're trying to let people uh, understand what a, what a problem it is and quickly. So they're urging the change of the animal status. So if you understand in nature, that some animals have different statuses. Some animals are vulnerable, meaning that uh, we should do something about it because they're facing danger, or endangered means we must protect them right now because if we don't, we're never gonna see these animals again. So there's different statuses. There's different uh, how they label uh, the danger of that group. So right now, they're saying the cheetah is under a vulnerable status, meaning that yes, we should be careful, we need to watch out, uh, but that's not strong enough. A lot of the authors are saying we need to change from that vulnerable status, which means that they're open to attacks, they're open to harm, and we need to change it to endangered, which means if we don't protect them, they're going to disappear. And it's like a red light, we need to protect them. So vulnerable to endangered, that's what the cheetah uh, needs to change their status in the wild. Once common throughout Africa, so common means they can see it everywhere in Africa, the Arabian, uh, Arabian Peninsula, Asia, and even India, the meat-eating cat has decreased dramatically in number. So dramatically means we can see it all of a sudden, right? So uh, we can see it in Africa, Arabian Peninsula, and peninsula is a piece of land that has water on three sides, just like Korea. So we call it the Korean Peninsula. But here in the Arabian Peninsula, where uh, Arab is, right, Arabia is, and Asia, and even in parts of India, we used to be able to see it all the time, but not, not anymore, right? It has dramatically decreased in number. So all of a sudden, they have gone down in population. It is now found only in six African countries and fewer than 50 remain in Iran. So here we can see that uh, population or the number of cheetahs has gone down in large ways all over where we used to be able to find them very easily. The last paragraph says the tall and slender feline 
has a yellowish tan to orange fur covered with black dots and long legs that help it catch prey. So here it's describing what the cheetah looks like. The cheetah is kind of tall, slender means very thin or slim, and feline means it's a group of cat, so it's a cat family. So a tall and very thin cat has a yellowish tan and orange fur, and it has black dots, and they have all of that so that they are better equipped or they're better able to catch its prey, and prey are the animal that they hunt. Right? So a lot of um, those gazelles and those very thin animals that the cheetahs chase after, those are uh, the prey. Uh, its running speed can reach up to 61 miles per hour and even 70 miles for short distances. So in a very short uh, distance that it needs to cover, short area, they can go up to 61 to 70 miles per hour. So it's very, very fast. That's the speed of a car on a highway. Right? Most cheetahs live in open grasslands, savannas, places with dense vegetation and even mountainous regions. So where can you find cheetahs? You can find cheetahs in open grasslands. Grasslands are large, large pieces of land with just grass. Uh, savannas are pretty much the same as grasslands, but they're in hotter places with very few trees, like in Africa, like in the picture, that's a savanna. And places with dense vegetation, dense means it's tightly packed together, and vegetation means like flowers and plants. So we can find cheetahs where there's not a lot of trees, and there's open field, right? Because cheetahs are very fast and they need to run in open space to catch their prey. And sometimes even in mountainous areas, sometimes we see different cheetahs with thicker fur that can live in colder areas. So this beautiful animal, right? The cheetah that's famous for being the fastest animal uh, on the ground in the, uh, on, on earth. And we can see that they're in danger and they need our help. They need our protection. Uh, so uh, if we don't do anything quickly, a lot of the scientists are saying that they can be endangered and we may never see them again in the wild. So this is also uh, something that you and I can uh, share with our friends so that we can raise awareness, so that we can protect this beautiful animal. Uh, let's take a look at our comprehension questions for today. Part A, it says, According to Luke Hunter, president of Global Wildcat Protection Agency, Pantera, how many cheetahs remain in the wild? So do you remember the number? So we know that it's not in the millions, right? So it's in the thousands and it's a lot less than what it used to be. So it's about half of what it used to be 40 plus years ago. And we said that number is 7,100 or 7,100 cheetahs left in the wild. Let's look at B. What is the running speed of a cheetah? So I told you it's about the same speed of a car that goes on the highway. So its running speed can reach up to something miles per hour and even something miles for short distances. So in a very short place, they can run even faster. So they can run up to how many miles per hour? We said 61 to 70 miles per hour for only a short uh, period, right? For only a short distance. And our last question here, it says, where do most cheetahs live? So we said, if you look in the picture, not a lot of trees, but they have a lot of vegetation. So most cheetahs live in open grasslands, blank, and places with dense vegetation or in even places like mountainous regions. So where can they live? So we said grasslands, a place that's like a grassland, uh, very few trees, a lot of grass, but in a hotter environment. And we said that is a savanna, right? So we can find uh, cheetahs living in multiple, right? Different kinds of environments, but commonly they have a lot of grass, open field where they can run very fast, like a savanna. Uh, the last part, of our comprehension. Let's fill in the blanks here as well. It says a recent study has warned that cheetah, that the cheetah, the fastest animal in the world, is in danger of something. So when we said we cannot see them on the world, uh, in the in the wild anymore, they they've disappeared because they have all died. We said that that is called right extinction. So we know that several animals. We know that dinosaurs are extinct. The dodo bird and uh, many different animals have been extinct and the cheetah is uh, one of them if we do not do something. So uh, we can face extinction, uh, the, the cheetah can face extinction in the wild. So B, the study's authors, the, the people who've written the study, 
urge the change of the animal status from something to endangered. So we said uh, that status before being endangered is that it could be right in harm. It's open to attack, it's open to uh, many different things that are dangerous to the animal. And we said that that word, vocabulary word, is vulnerable. So if I am vulnerable, uh, that means like I'm open to uh, harm. So if I go outside on a very, very cold day without a jacket, uh, then I'm vulnerable to getting sick, right? So vulnerable means you're open to attack. Uh, so here in the last one, it says C, it is now found only in six African countries and blank remain in Iran. So uh, how many left, how many uh, are left in the country of Iran? Uh, and how many can be found in different African countries? So we said in the blank, fewer than, right? Fewer than 50 remain in Iran. So we cannot find uh, that many in countries where before they were very common or that we could easily see. So after reading this article, once again, uh, over the course of all of the articles that we've done here at Kids Times, we've shared about many different animals that are facing endanger, uh, endangered status. So what is it that you and I can do? I want you to think about it. How can we share about this cheetah? Cheetah is one of the most uh, well-known, most famous or iconic, right? When we think about Africa, we think about lions and we think about zebras and we think about giraffes and animals like the cheetah. Uh, what we do as humans are impacting animals in the wild. So what is it that we can do? We can raise awareness. We can share with other people about the status that they're no longer vulnerable, but now they're endangered and we need to do something to protect them. So I hope this article helped you to understand that there's a lot of animals out there, not just the cheetah, but many animals that I've talked about that need our help. So I hope you uh, learned a lot from this article and that you are able to share the news about animals that need our help like the cheetah. So until I see you again next time, I hope you do well and I will see you again in the future. Goodbye everyone.